Just a little. Not much left. Hey, Mommy, where do you go after we go home last night? Mommy has something to do. She's a very busy woman, your mother. No matter how busy, I'll always make time for you. Mommy, you owe me a good night kiss. <laughs> yes, I do. Are you ready to go? I go pee pee first. Okay. Don't do this again. Do what? Undermine me in front of Maxine. Now, if you care so much what Maxine thinks, maybe you and Lois should be more upfront with her. She's so young. How is she supposed to understand all that? You're right. I don't even understand what game you and Lois are playing. Not this again. I'm sick and tired of fighting with you over Lois. Can't you just leave it alone? Em, do you really think that it's in Maxine's best interest? For to... years. I've never gone against any of your wishes. All I'm asking for is for you to respect mine. Just this once. Please just let me handle it. Let me live my life my way. Too. Morning. Don't be silly. Say good morning to Grandma Jessica and Uncle Louis. Come on. Can I get a hug for ice cream lunch? No. Maxine, don't be rude. No, it's okay. I don't like you. What? What did I do? You made my daddy and mommy fight. I did? Maxine, don't talk nonsense. I'm not. That's enough. It's okay. Maxine, your Uncle Louis does have that effect on people sometimes. Although it's usually just the women. <laughs> Hmm. But that doesn't mean we cannot be friends, right? I'm sorry, she's in some kind of mood. That's okay. Hey, Emily. You're coming to the KSF meeting? Yep. Jessica can't make it, so I told her I'll come in a place. Great. I'm looking forward to having another familiar face there. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm just looking forward to having someone my age there. No disrespect, but... Jessica's a certain age, Celia's also a certain age, and they're also... Old? <laughs> oh god, I'm awful. Okay, I'll see you later. Should I bring some quiz or... Do I sound like Eunice? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> okay, no quiz. See you. Bye. Bye. Looks like you're looking forward to the foundation meeting. Actually, I am. Yes, Maxine. I know you had fun with Nikki yesterday. What, another play date? Well, look, I don't know about that. Um, look, I'll, just, I'll talk to you when I get home, okay? And yeah, give your teacher back her phone. Okay, Daddy, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey! Maxine left the shoes behind yesterday. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, but yesterday Emily was in a mode. <laughs> she was out of line. <laughs> well, at least now I know what was bothering you. That obvious, huh? <laughs> I'm sure marriage is hard work. But you have a sweet and lovely daughter. You know, one great reason to keep working at it. Plus, Emily's usually nicer and saner than that. So I'm sure she's just going through a rough patch. Things will get better. Thank you. Unless Emily kills you first. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure Nikki would love another play date, but you know, Kenneth's gonna be really tied up these next few Yeah, I don't know, maybe we yeah. should. Uh, yeah, Emily's uncomfortable. Yeah, but... totally understand. Mm -hmm. Totally understand. Mm -hmm. Anyways. I know you come over for breakfast all the time because it upsets Jessica. Well, it's not the sole reason. Irritating me is a bonus. True. <laughs> but the most important reason is Matthew is my godson, and I know so little about Yoke. I feel it's my duty to get to know her, and getting Jessica riled up is my morning entertainment. And what have you learned about you during this time? Do you know? Emily is getting closer to Yoke. That's not a bad thing. Emily's a good influence. You're not concerned that she'll become a target when Charles finds out? He doesn't have a good opinion of her. Opinions can be swayed. Yoke will just have to work a little harder. She has an uphill battle. Charles definitely doesn't see her as CEO material. And I suppose you share that opinion? I'm merely sharing what I know. My opinion is quite irrelevant. 
especially according to Charles. Charles is a businessman in and out. When he sees value, he'll make sure it doesn't go to waste. Well, we'll see if he sees the value in your pen. She'll be so happy to see you. Really. I totally agree. Oh, hi. Oh, Yoki, I'm so glad it's you and not Jess I have to convince. You'll be great. Yeah, and I know a few members in there who are actually animal lovers. Oh, this makes me so excited. If it all goes well, this is the first collaboration between KSF and the Orchid Lady Society. I bet Jess is kicking herself for not thinking about it earlier. I'm sorry about talking about your mother behind her back. Oh, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> well, I do represent Jessica, so you have some convincing to do. As long as they are fair questions, Cece can handle them. Exactly. <laughs> what is she doing here? Isn't Emily in charge of... She's talking about you, this. Oh. She has nothing to do with KSF. What is she doing coming to this meeting? I don't know. You know how she likes to stick her nose and everything? Well, I don't like that one bit. What? Whoa, you're still angry with me? No, we're swamped. What is it, Abang? I just called to check on how things are. How come you're so free? Hey, you, Shira, and Karu said I had to get more involved. Just get involved at a better time, okay? Look, Ka is not here and I need... Where's Ka? She's not feeling well. Okay, I tried calling her when all these takeaway orders came flooding in to see if she was feeling better to help us out, but she didn't pick up the phone. Okay, look, I really have to go, okay? I appreciate you letting me sit in. You're always welcome, Mum. Always keen to see the Shelleys come together. And this collaboration between Quan Shelley Foundation and the OLS seems promising. It's a slightly different direction. We're usually focused on people, not animals. This is going to be a first for us. <laughs> and Yoke's very excited. Is she? Mm. <laughs> What's the matter? Well, I was at breakfast when Jessica announced she couldn't attend. She practically forced Yoke to attend in her place. She did that? Hmm. I never knew she was so dedicated to KSF. So I thought it's a good idea to keep interested in the goings-on, just like Jessica. <laughs> you know what Jessica's like, full of ideas and schemes and tricks up her sleeve. Such a busy little lady, has her fingers in everything. <laughs> I've done my research, KSF has never prioritised animal welfare. And I believe that this is a good opportunity for KSF to expand their concerns. Thanks, Celia. Does anyone have questions? I do. Actually, they are Jessica's questions and just messenger. Questions by proxy. Go ahead, Yo. You deserve better from me. As a friend. And Maxine deserves better from me as a father. What do you mean? You and I, I mean, we were never really friends. When we first started here at Shelley Holdings, I mean, my dad used you against me. And when I was running this place, I mean, he still came between us. And I got married and he got engaged to Charles. And we were competitors, colleagues, almost done. Um, yeah. <laughs> We've never really been friends. I mean, none of the true sense of the word. You have a point? Nikki and Maxine are friends. Just as... Well, you are my friend. I'm not going to let Emily and Charles get in the way of that. So if next time it's just you, me, and the kids... I'm going to just have to suck it up. <laughs> cool. I never took you much for an animal lover, Celia. I love all living creatures. Anyone with compassion would understand that. Well, you wouldn't. Yo, are you really interested in the Quan Shelley Foundation? Or are you just doing this for Jessica? Why are you asking me that? Why don't you think I'm interested? You just spent a whole meeting asking Jessica's questions. You had none of your own. 
Are you Jessica's eyes? Is that why she sent you? No. I'm new to this. This is my first KSF meeting. Did you expect me to walk in and act like... So I chose to ask Jessica's questions. What else did you expect me to do? I'm sorry, of course you're right. I let my suspicions get the better of me. Is there some family politics I don't know about? Yes. I get it. Julius! Hey. I heard that Celia's pitch for the KSF OLS oh, charity no, no, no. tie-up no, 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 excellent. Damn it! Why did you just fall surprised? I was going to wait for Celia to tell me all about it. Now I have to pretend like I'm surprised. I'm so bad at lying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, I was going to say that Celia is right, you know? The tie-up is a step in the right direction. It shows that us Shelleys have got each other's back. Just like the Shelley boys. Am I a Shelley boy? Of course. You are the same age as Louis. He is my bro son. But I don't feel like a Shelley boy. Why not? Lately, I've noticed that James never invites me to hang out with Maxine. He always asks Louis, but not me. Mm. Early dinner. Late lunch. You mm. forgot to eat. <laughs> well, you always do this. I should have had the PAs pick you up some lunch. Mm, stop nagging. Want to try some? Mm-mm. Feel good. Mm. Mm. I didn't know Le Mirage delivered. Mm. You don't. It's so good. I love what you sent over, Charles. <laughs> yeah, even James loves it. Don't be mean. Of course he can afford his own food. <laughs> no, I'm not going to pass him the phone. No. Hey, Nath. Hey, Uncle Ajay. Sorry I'm late. It's cool. Do you need a warm-up? Yeah, just a bit. I came from self-defense class, so I'm kind of warmed up. I had to fend off Nina again. Oh, yeah. It's better that she doesn't come. We're already breaking so many rules. Your dad is going to hate me for life. It's OK. I'll back you up. And working out with you over the past few weeks has been great. It's just what I need. Huh. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You know what's the best part? What? The after-workout chat. Huh. Is that right? Hey! Come on, Slowpoke. Eunice was at the meeting too. That must be a first. It wasn't the only odd thing. As I was leaving, I saw Hawk having a beer with James in the office. Oh. Do they do that often? I don't think so. Hey. Hey. Shall we go? Have a nice dinner. Bye. So how was your inaugural meeting with KSF? Did Celia manage to convince them to support the animal shelter? Overall, it was uh, weird. And Celia did a great pitch for the animal shelter, but after that, Emily basically accused me of spying for Jessica. Seriously? Maybe I should just keep out of KSF. With Eunice and Jessica there, it's like, it's just another excuse of a battleground for family politics. Don't think of it that way. KSF is doing good. It's making a difference. Just focus on the work and you'll be fine. Oh, I needed that. You work too hard, but to enjoy a bit. Good choice, thanks. And good timing. Why? Something else happened with your wife? You know what? You have this uncanny ability to show up at exactly the right time, Hawk. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Where's Carlos? Is she feeling better? I don't know. She's outside. She's been there the whole day. If it's to eat. Do you remember what it was like when you were around my age? Your age? Hey, don't make me sound like I'm an old uncle, okay? I'm serious. Are you still having problems with those kids? No, I'm fine. Just tell me about you. It was great for me. Actually, anything outside of the class was great for me. Dad told me you were Mr. Popular. That I was. It was nice to be in the center of attention. Anytime I wanted a date, I could have my pick. I wish I was that lucky. But Nathan, inside the classroom, I was crap, heading nowhere. If I knew whatever I know now, you are in a much better position than I ever was. You should be so proud of yourself that you can do well in school because you're a student. Be confident of yourself. 
And just this morning, their little Maxine spills that James and Emily were fighting because of Louis. <laughs> Children can lie. But the look on Emily's face was confirmation that it wasn't. Then, I hear from Julius, Celia's husband, that James has been inviting Louis to spend time with Maxine. He's especially inviting Louis to spend time with Maxine. Why? Because James thinks that Louis is the one who is having an affair with Emily and that Maxine is Louis's daughter. What? <laughs> Why would he think that? Isn't Maxine Hawk's daughter? I don't know. It could be a smoke screen to protect Hawk. I mean, James won't do anything to Louis, they're brothers. In fact, Louis has actually proposed to Emily before when James almost built on the wedding to help James. It does make sense, but in a very twisted way. Oh my, what will Derek think of this? What would you niece? They'll be horrified. The CEO and DCEO of KSUH, brothers entangled in a juicy scandal. <laughs> you think this will pave the way for Yoke's climb up the KSUH corporate ladder? No fever? I'm telling you I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. No abdominal pain? From time to time, because of the wounds. But nothing out of the ordinary, right? What about medications? Are you on any... Do you want me to be sick? I'm just trying to get down to why... This is not a hospital. I'm just tired. Can you accept my explanation? I can. But you don't usually fall sick. This is why I'm worried. It's Sorry, just... I don't need you to worry about me. It's impossible. I'm the man of the house. I'm supposed to take charge, to be more present at home. If you must make this about you, please leave. Well, if you... Don't they teach you how to respect a patient's wishes in medical school? I never thought Louis was such a good actor. If Emily didn't tell me herself, I would never believe that they were having an affair. Of course, uh, it's an affair. Who would go around telling everybody? Anyway, Emily is right. Protect Louis, protect the marriage, protect Maxine. I'm not so sure she wants to protect the marriage anymore. No, she's threatening divorce. Divorce? I you think she should? No, um, I'm just surprised. She doesn't seem like the threatening type. Well, Lewis doesn't seem like the lying two-faced type either. I suppose I was wrong about that too. You promised to leave Yoke alone. And I haven't broken that promise, have I? Really? Then why were you at the Quan Shelley Foundation meeting? I was there to support Celia and Yoke, of course. God, Ma, you expect me to believe that. You always think that Yoke has a political agenda. I know, once you've decided that this is good for Yoke, no one can change your mind. So what choice do I have? To support you, I have to support Yoke. Frankly, I'm a little disappointed that you think so poorly of me. Sorry, God, Ma. I appreciate what you're trying to do. The doctor, Richard Tan, he may be out soon. When he's out, keep tabs on him. Will do. Everyone's out tonight? Not everyone. I'm here. <laughs> How are you settling in? I mean, you've been away from your family for so long. Does it feel weird to be back? If there's one thing that I missed while I was in prison, it's the space. My personal space. My bed, my toilet, my sink. You? Feels the same, actually. I was alone in the prison. I'm still alone now. Except, lately I've been connected with my cousin's kid. You think you want your own family? <laughs> I didn't say that. You had that if only look. Let me tell you, being married, having children, is a big responsibility. A daunting challenge even for the best of us. What do you think Ella's doing right now? Teaching, helping others. I didn't manage to help her, you know? Why are you suddenly thinking of her? I think about it. Yoke's okay. I'm messed up. You're okay. Ella's messed up. You're not messed up. Uh, <laughs> hear me out. 
Hear me out. What if the Yoke Ellis switch never actually happened? What if we switched a non switch, thereby unfixing that which was already fixed? Yeah. I think you're drunk. You could be right. <clears throat> oh. Well, I guess if it didn't happen, we wouldn't be here right now. When am I drinking, buddy? <laughs> and I'm glad we're friends too. Hope this thing family improves. It won't. Actually, it can. All these years, Emily hasn't gone against your wishes, right? So this time, just respect hers. Let her handle it. Let her live her life away. For years, I've never gone against any of your wishes. All I'm asking for is for you to respect mine. Just this once. Please just let me handle it. Let me live my life my way. She lives her own life. She's happy. Maxine's happy. You're happy, right? I just had a, uh, just had a smack of deja vu. Huh? I swear Emily said the exact same thing. Respect my wishes. Let me live my own life. You're so drunk, you're remembering the right things or not. What is it? I don't want to go to some oversized jungle gym playground filled with screaming kids and annoying parents. Oh, look, he's so cute. He's like a little bit of sunshine. I don't do that. Can you just spare me the torture? Please, for oh, one weekend. It's family day. Fine. But it's so much as one stupid child screams in my ear. In fact, if that little monkey comes within. Okay, two, okay, you don't have to go, okay? Thanks, Dad. You're my little ray of sunshine. <laughs>